Hello, my name's Dr. Amy Mosigway. I'm a research archaeologist and hold a joint position between the Australian Museum and the University of Sydney. Before we begin, it is with deep respect I would like to start by acknowledging the land we are on today, Gadigal land of the Eora Nation. I recognise and pay respect to Elders past, present and emerging and recognise this as a place of continuous learning and knowledge exchange for thousands of years. This learning continues today and is the reason we have the annual Winch Lecture. This lecture was first established by the University of Sydney in 2020 and each year it is made possible by the generous contribution from Ron Winch and the esteemed Winch family. This year's theme will focus on trade in the top end of Australia, including trade with the Macassans. This topic will explore the extensive history of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander trade and connections, both within this vast landmass and across the seas. You will hear from our distinguished academics, the professors Paul Tayson, Lynette Russell, Daryl Wesley, and Associate Professor Sally Kate May, who each bring their expertise to the forefront of our discussion today. But before we begin, let's start to unveil the intricate network of exchanges and interactions which have contributed to the rich tapestry of Indigenous cultures and societies over the millennia. Associate Professor Sally May will later speak to the antiquity of contact and explore the contact made in Northwestern Arnhem Land. In the meantime, I would like to share one of the great untold stories of our country's past, how Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples established a thriving network of national and international trade markets. Well before colonisation and the arrival of British fleets upon the shores, Aboriginal people in Northern Australia were trading with the Macassans of Sulawesi and sending Australian produce into China for over 300 years. It's the establishment of these trade relationships and participation in international markets that contradicts the previously widely held theory that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were isolated from the rest of the world until the arrival of the British. One of the first major export industries in Australia was trepang, a soft-bodied marine animal. These sea creatures are highly prized in China, used as a medicinal product and are considered a delicacy. In the 1600s, the demand in China rose for trepang and this drove Macassan trepang traders into Northern Australia and enabled these communities to establish connections in this large international network. Professor Lynette Russell will discuss how Aboriginal trade with the Macassans, a long-standing relationship established before 1600, was booming in the 1700s and extending well into the colonial period. It wasn't until 1907 that Macassan entry into Australian waters was prohibited. While these international trading routes were taking shape across the seas, there was, of course, an extensive trade network within Australia which allowed for items to be traded across the continent. These networks stretched across the country, up the north and south coasts, branching off into the east and west. Archaeologist Daryl Wesley will share the many traditional elements of trade and explore the key trade networks across the Northern Territory. Distinguished Professor Paul Tayson will also guide us through the fascinating world of rock art, Aboriginal voyaging, and trade in pre-colonial and early colonial times in Northwestern Arnhem Land. Of course, there was also a vast number of trade routes and trading sites across Sydney and the lands the University of Sydney sit on, Gadigal land. Oral histories, which have been preserved through a series of texts by William Dawes, describe several trading and sit-down spots across the Camperdown Darling campus. These meeting areas were vital to the Gadigal people and the business they conducted with surrounding clans. Now it's time to hear from our guest lecturers and look further into this fascinating topic. You will hear firsthand as our lecturers share their invaluable research insights and knowledge as it relates to their own areas of expertise. It has been a pleasure to introduce the topic of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander trade to you. Thank you.